everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome thank you so much for joining me my name is Trish I am an ambulatory wheelchair and mobility age user and I use this channel to share what my day-to-day -day life is like today I am doing a video that a few people have asked for I am gonna give a little t tour of Columbiana Ohio I love small town tour videos but I don't get to do a lot of them um, only because of the logistics of them. Small towns are notoriously inaccessible because the buildings are old. So I usually cannot use my wheelchair and today is no exception. I know a lot of the buildings I won't be able to access with my wheelchair. So I have a rollator, which is like a walker with a seat and that's what I'm gonna use. I don't have as much time today as I'd like to have to dedicate to Columbiana because it really does have a lot to offer. It's a neat small town. But all morning I've been working on my new studio space and I am so excited to share that with you. I am almost ready. We are going to start in the Firestone Farm area of Columbiana, which is technically like right outside Columbiana, but I think it's a great place to start. There are some neat restaurants and we're gonna eat at one of those restaurants and I'm just gonna show you around as much of the town as I can in the time I have left today. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's go explore. Please don't mind the smudge on my window. It is really bothering me, but I don't have anything to clean it off with. All right, we are almost to Firestone Farms. I'm showing you a little bit of the country around Columbiana just because I think it's pretty. Firestone Farms has several options for dining. I wanna try a burger place that I keep seeing pop up on Facebook. This looks amazing. Lunch was so good. I think it's called Sepsi Burger? Sespi Burger? I'm not actually sure and I didn't hear anyone say it inside. But the prices are really competitive to like fast food. Only it's independently owned and the quality is much better than fast food. So if you're in the area, definitely stop and check them out. It was around like $20 for two of us, which isn't bad at all. Uh, I just got a single cheeseburger. My husband got a double and we both got fries and the fries were like huge. I couldn't eat them all and they were perfectly seasoned. They were really good. All right, now we're gonna look around Firestone Farms a little more and then we're gonna head into downtown Columbiana. I hear good things about this Mexico City bar and grill, so we'll have to come back a different time and try it. This whole little shopping center is so pretty. They also have a brand new like surgical center coming really soon, and that's what we're looking at now. I don't know much about it, but it looks really nice. Columbian is getting a Wendy's soon, and that's what we're passing now. 
And this is the Best Western Dutch House Hotel. In what feels like another life, I did wedding photography and I did a wedding there. It is really pretty. All right, we are finally almost into downtown Columbiana. We're gonna find a parking spot and we're gonna walk around a little bit. I will be using my rollator as I mentioned earlier, since it's just hard to get a wheelchair in these old buildings. But that way I can sit when I need to sit. Right behind the downtown area is a little plaza and it has Hogan's Bakery. And that is like one of the best bakeries ever. There are so many goodies. They have their tree up still, but that is okay because it is absolutely beautiful. I found this like collage that looks like it has some history of the area and it is so pretty. I love when towns make little spaces like this. How cute is it? It's like something out of a Hallmark movie. wrap this video up soon but I did not want to do a video of Columbiana without checking out Firestone Park. It is an absolutely beautiful park and it has a lot to offer. So that was a little peek at the town of Columbiana. It was really cold out. <laughs> but it is a really nice little town. Now, a few years ago, it was voted like night, one of the nicest towns in America. And I don't know about that, but <laughs> it is pretty nice. That traffic circle gets a bit hazardous. People get real <laughs> angry real quick. Uh, we didn't have any problem today, but on a weekend, kind of pure chaos but it is a great place to visit I feel like one of the reasons people go to Columbiana is for their antique shops and they're not overly accessible like I didn't film it but I went in one of them and I could see such a small amount of it without going up or down stairs and then there was a few other stores that just had steps to get in so it's just not a very accessible town and I realize it's because of how old the buildings are but I wish more small towns were a little more accessible. But other than that, it was a great day out. We had fun. That is all I have for you today, but I do this almost every day, so I'll see you soon.